had a feeling you'd come back and save me from all those lonely nights. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's Melanie from Orange Umbrella Co. here. Please excuse the machine running in the background. I, it's the last sheet, but I gotta get moving because I have like a bazillion YouTube videos that I wanna film today. The first one I'm doing is a flip through of the first quarter of 2022. Absolutely crazy. I'm ready for spring and summer, but also wondering where the year has gone already. So yeah, no monthly for January. I. I go back and forth on monthly um, layouts. I have really enjoyed using it for March, so I already have one set up for April as well. But um, January, I did not. I just kind of put a couple little things in there that I needed to know. So this is the first week in January. I used, um, I don't usually use New Year's kits, so I used our Crazy Cats, which is collection 118. This week was so busy at work with orders and the likes that I, really didn't get to plan a ton so i do intend to use this kit again this year because i didn't get to look at it enough and i really liked it so the sorry the machine's gonna stop the second week i used our boho doodles collection which is uh 121 i loved this kit i didn't love it when i was designing it but it actually just came together really nicely these colors are very similar to um, the EC Flora colorway. So if you like that, this is a great kit. Um, and the doodles just kind of did make me feel a little peppy. So that's what that one looked like. The third week I used 105, which was Geo. I needed something a little bolder besides, you know, the pastels after that week. So I chose this one. I loved this kit as well. Um, it wasn't my absolute favorite, but I did really like the gold and the blue. The blue had a winter vibe, but I enjoyed having some of that warmer gold in there also. The next week I used 110 animal prints. This is definitely one that I would use again this year. It's perfect for any time of year, but we had just released it at this point, I believe, or we're going to. So I was excited to use it and I'm not a pink person, but the pink is very warm in here and it's got some coral to kind of offset it. And of course, black and white, who does not love black and white? And let's see, that brings us into February. February, I used a Fern Creek sticker um set for her eight and a half by 11. i liked it didn't use it very much but it was still pretty to look at when i would flip to february uh this week i use i believe this is 114 which is um pink blossoms i told myself i was going to use pink every week in february i'm super glad that is a short month i i can handle some pink it's just definitely my least favorite color but february seems to lend itself well and i kind of really wanted to push the envelope and use colors that are different from my normal so i did that and i'm glad i did i really did like this kit the colors in it were super vibrant so it did make me smile throughout the week uh, the next one i used was 113 which is rose garden beautiful kit uh, angela over at chaotic life of a planner makes my spread look ridiculous like she did the kit so much justice it's a beautiful kit was not my favorite to use but i you know i didn't dislike it either this one was definitely i do not like i do love the trucks those that know me well know i love my pickup truck that's in the shop <laughs> Um, but uh, that was the best thing about this. The blue helped balance out the pink, but I'm pretty sure I was complaining during my plan with me about all of the pink. And apparently this week was a dumpster fire, although I don't really remember why. But the deco on this one was super fun. This one is in our clearance section and will be coming down shortly. So if you like it, go ahead and grab it. Um, this one is Lavender Dreams. I cannot remember what kit number it is. I think it's in the 120 somewhere, but this one was fun. The pink was a little more purpley. It was the last week of the month, so I was just about <laughs> over pink, but I love these little um, eucalyptus plants and the lavender. And yeah, that one was not terrible. Won't use it again. 
Uh, let's see, that takes us into March. For my monthly March spread, I used another Fern Creek stickers collection, and I also started a monthly remix. And I'm so enjoying this. Uh, one of my favorite shops and one of my favorite humans is Stephanie over at Tipsy Dog Design. So I was loving that I had a place for all of her snark. It's um, not something I can use on a regular basis in my weekly spreads. I just don't have a lot of space for that kind of thing, but I've definitely been able to give it justice here. And I've ordered twice more this month. One, because I wanted to um, mark the T-bone accident I was in and I needed just the right sticker to say, hey, how crappy that day was. But um, these little doodle um, scallop boxes are from Beyond Paper Flowers. I have some Punky Bee design um, functionals in here, some shameless sticker splashes. I have another order of those. I've ordered them before and I must have lost a couple of them because I only have a couple, but I went way overboard in ordering them. So I'm excited to get those in here. Um, this is also a piece of deco from the Mystery Kit 2. Not available any longer, but I'm definitely using this kit coming up soon to um, to show you guys. So yeah, that's my monthly remix. I am loving this. I'm doing them. So right now it's the 24th. I haven't picked a sticker for yesterday yet, but I'm doing them after the day passes so that I can still see my important, you know, meetings and appointments and that kind of thing so that I don't get those lost in all of these stickers. But this has been really fun for sure doing it in April again. Okay, so this is the first week in March. I used the first mystery kit. Yes, I used pink even when I didn't have to, but I really did like this kit. The blue and the yellow in here like really balanced out the pink and um, I really enjoyed using this kit and it was fun to kind of show everybody what the mystery kits look like because this was our first one. Next is Wildflowers. This is collection 119. I love, love this kit. When I, this was another one kind of like the boho doodles. When I was designing it, I was not super in love with it. And by the time it came together at the end, I was just super, super thrilled with it and I really enjoyed using it. The colors are amazing. We also started our deco journaling sheets and I actually went backwards in our collections and um, made a deco journaling sheet for this one. So these pieces are from it. These little torn um, washi papers or the um, watercolor papers are from it. Let's see, I think I have some um, Nerds A Word here, Tipsy Dog Designs. This was the week of the TPC sale. And yeah, I think that is it in that one. All right, this one, I did uh, the week of release. So it released on Thursday, but when I did the new release video for it on Thursday, which is also the day that I do my plan with me's, I, just kept it aside and I went ahead and used it because I was like, these colors are amazing. Can you guys tell I like blue? Like everything that I say is an amazing kit has blue in it. Blue and gray are my jam. So yeah, this was a kit that I would 150% use again. I think this is one I'm gonna pull out of stock and hoard to use again next year because I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to use another umbrella kit in the spring. I'm sorry if you guys can hear Spaz. She has been crying at the back door of the office all morning. I don't mind to let her out for a little bit, but I like to wait until it gets light out with the traffic and stuff. And yeah, I don't like to have the doors open in the dark when I'm here by myself. So I shut her out of my office and she is carrying on outside. But anyway, so yeah, I really, uh, really loved using this kit. These pieces, again, are from the deco journaling sheet. Um, I also use just a regular deco sheet and these like little rainbows and umbrellas. You guys know I love an umbrella, so yeah. And that brings us to this current week, which I cannot even believe is the last full week in March. So this week I used um, 125 rainy days. So it's just Thursday. So that's why this side is not filled out yet. Um, it's been a rough week for me, you know, personally, and this has been making me feel super sunshiny, even with the rain. The colors are super bright and it just make me smile. And you know, of course, umbrellas and rainbows are my thing. So yeah, that is my flip through for the first quarter of the year. I can't wait to come back next quarter and do this with you guys again. So until next time, everybody have a wonderful day.
Could somebody wake me up? I don't want 